Hello everybody, Vicky here from Tales from the Trails and today we are doing another gameplay video review of Rival Start. It's a horse racing game and it is desktop based. There's a little bit more to it than just racing horses. You can make an income from your stable, you can upgrade it, you can breed horses, you can train those horses and they go into the genetics quite interestingly. Here we have our latest foal. He's a little colt, a thoroughbred. For some reason, he's a, an Appaloosa, coated like a peacock pattern. Thoroughbreds don't come in that, but in reality, this is not reality. So we're going to take a little picture. There's Mama and there's Foal. I'm go back after we've taken that picture and we're going to... You can skip and make the horse grow up to a big, strong adult, but we don't have the funds for that right now. So we're going to head back through the menu and I figure out what I'm doing. I don't want to sell the horse, so we're going to buy more stalls, build a stall for 2,000 coins. We have a new foal, let's go have a look. Foal stalls. Meet the new horse, there he is. So I've built a new stall, so now he's nice and strong, he's called Barracuda Barometer. You can change that, but we're going to stick with it. It's our first stallion, which is interesting, so we can actually use him for breeding. Obviously not to his mother, because that would be wrong. So there are his stats. And you can set it as a stud as well, so you can breed it. Breed to him, even. Interesting pattern, interesting pattern, but for a thoroughbred, like I said. So we're going to head on... Just have a look here. A few of the stats, a few of the bonuses. And there he is in the stall. Next to, not his mother, next to one of the other horses. We can breed another foal as well. We can have a look through the different offerings in the market. The top ones are set by the game and that is our stud. Can't breed it to its mother, obviously. Have a look at Smoke on the Water, which is one of our other horses. And I don't have the funds for it, I'm missing it some feed or something so we're gonna go back we're gonna back 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 through all the menus and i'm gonna go training i'm gonna train our new horse up just a little bit if we can get through the menu sprint energy um yeah let's just go to that training complete we'll do sprint energy as well and we're going to do the acceleration. Well, I tried to, but couldn't afford it. Um, can we buy it? We can buy that. Go back, see if we can actually do it. Probably not. Not that one. Acceleration. Still can't afford it. Oh, well. So we're going to head to the homestead. We're going to get our income. I don't know what we're doing to earn this income. And then we're going to race. We're going to do a horse race. Let's have a look here. Let's just do that one. Three Oaks. This horse has been capped, so I can't race this one. It's too good. But the other two we can race here. So we're going to select our horse. We're going to. This is the new stallion, what we just bred. Barracuda Barometer. And the race starts. So we are at the track. We will be at the starting gate and we will start the race very, very shortly. There are four of us, apparently. I am at number one. And when we start, we have to get the marker into the green with a perfect start. And this particular horse does like a central position. If it is in this, you see the, the band on the ground, if it's within that area, the sprint charges up much faster. And the sprint is essentially like running a lot quicker. But for some reason it kept going towards, we kept dropping him back. What's is coming up the side? I don't believe you are riding against real people. I think it's all computer generated characters. I may be wrong. We're coming up to the finish line. I started a bit early on the sprint. 
We're going to see how we go. Number two is like a rocket. We're going to catch. We're second. Second's fine. Another one with second. I'm going to take a picture and save it. A memorable moment. The horse has gained some XP and we have gained some gold. And we've got some items to help us progress our stable yard as well. He has leveled up to number three. Level three. I'm going to take a picture of him rearing, I think. No, relaxed. Trotting. There we go. Frisky in the garden. Meadow. I don't know. We're going to go with galloping. You can add all the different stats and your winnings and information over the top if you so wish. And we're just going to save that. We're going to go back. You leveled up. Yay. And I did notice we're just going to get our income. Upgrade here. Payout upgrade. We might get a little bit more and the facilities we can upgrade as well. Storehouse. Go back. Okay. So the house did upgrade. Just going to have a look and get that income. 700 gold. You can change what you look like as well. Um, go back. At the stables, we have our three horses. That's our recent addition. It tells you all about the coat, the pedigree, the skills. Which is quite interesting. We're going to research. Are we going to research? Nah, nah, I like to find it naturally. There we go. Pedigree, that's the horse's history, like family history. And then we've got skills. We don't have any skills. We're not that privileged. So, yeah, I mean, you can do quite a lot in this game. It's, it's quite interesting. It's very in-depth. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, just follow the quest line. It keeps pushing you in the right direction. Like Francis here. Telling us what to do and we get some rewards. We just leveled up, which is good. Prestige increased. We can now um, free roam and also bet on races. So we're just going to go on a free roam with one of our horses. Going to select um, Twisted by Nature, who is our mother of that horse we just rode in the last race. She does really well in the races. Figuring out the how to steer and how to set off. There we go. Spacebar is your friend. It automatically jumps as well. This is like a, a little cross-country course, but you don't have to do it in any order. It's like a free a free roam, which is kind of cool. But this is actually where I'm going to leave you watching along if you so wish. It is... It's an interesting game. It's very in-depth. There's a lot going on. That's not a bad thing by any any means. It's There is a lot going on for my personal liking. But I like the game. I mean, I like the breeding aspect on the game. All the different coat colours, the genetics, the combinations and stuff like that. Racing, meh. That, that's not really my thing. But, well, in games, let's say. But... Yeah, I mean, you can take pictures as well, like going around, having a look. Free roam camera. Orbital. There we go. So, yeah, I, I do like the game. I do. If you like horses, go play it. Definitely, definitely play the game. You can find this game over on Steam and I'll put a link below. Hope you like my video. Find it useful in some way, shape or form. If you don't subscribe already, please do so. And happy trails.
Waiting for the start at Sewell Meadows. High hopes for the favourite number three. Excitement building here at Three Oaks. Number six looking to make bookies unhappy.
in control. Shimmer feature in second position. Queen's Frog charging through just as a margin over Queen's Frog. Number six still outrunning the rest. Shimmer feature in second spot. Then affectionate invoice putting up a challenge to Queen's Frog. Continuing around the track, it's number six. On the inside, Shimmer feature on their back is affectionate invoice. Number six out in front. It's on now, folks. Number six in third place, putting up a challenge to Sensational Snowball. Shimmer feature, first at the line, just holds on on Horn Horseshoe. Number four in third. Horses and jockeys ready for the off at Three Oaks. Barracuda barometer, favourite for the win. Bookies hoping for an upset. Gates are open and they're off. And the favourite is driving the pace right from the go. Also running well is Pirate Goldfish. 800 to gallop, it's terrible toast. Ambiguous Ramble in second place, dueling with Androids Anchor. Coral Cloud in fifth spot, head and head with Pyra Goldfish. The race continues with Barracuda Barometer, Androids Anchor in second. A length behind, it's Ambiguous Ramble. Barracuda Barometer still in first place. Pyra Goldfish getting past, just ahead of Ambiguous Ramble. Androids Anchor in the lead. Barracuda Barometer, watch the front, and then it's Pyra Goldfish. At the 300 marker, it's Androids Anchor. Barracuda Barometer, settled in well, preparing for the finish. Two lanes behind, it's Pyra Goldfish. In the straight, it's Androids Anchor. Barracuda Barometer leads the race. Barracuda Barometer salutes first, just holds by Androids Anchor. Desperate Diagram gets the third place.
They're ready to go at Sewell Meadows. Number two, the favorite for this race. Stalls back racing, right up there early is number two. Dragon Deputy is also in the run. At the 1100 meter mark, it's number two. Acorn Spain wants the front. Plausible Vulnerable in third place. Gossip's Mount is fighting, and then it's Dragon Deputy trying to keep off Rain Radish. With 900 meters to go, it's Plausible Vulnerable. Next, it's Acorn Spades. Plausible Vulnerable with a magnificent run. Acorn Spades with a brilliant turn of foot, trying to beat back in Heritage. 700 to race, it's Plausible Vulnerable. Number two in second position. Rain Radish pushing past horses. Stride for stride with Gossip Snout. Poison Volcano in seventh place. On their back is Kick Heritage. Number two dictating the pace. Followed by Rain Radish. The race continues with plausible corduroy. Gossip Snout in second place. One week behind it's Rain Radish. Stride for stride with Dragon Deputy. Plausible corduroy controlling the race. It's Gossip's Mount. At the top of the straight, it's number two. Plausible Cornerwood in second spot. Number two, needs to get more comfortable. Two lengths away, it's Dragon Deputy. Oh, it's really close. Plausible Cornerwood stealing the win at the finish. Number five, second. Third at the line, Gossip's Mount. Waiting for the start at Three Oaks. Number one, the horse that punters favour. Away they go. Number one sets the early pace. Alligator Wizard also up the front. With 700 metres to go, it's number one. Alligator Wizard in second spot. The Hatchbrook next. Nice Holly Hop pressuring just behind, followed by Lilac Limpet. Then as the race moves on, it's number one. Nice Holly Hop moving up the field, closely followed by Alligator Wizard. Number one at the head of affairs. Nice Holly Hop in second place. A length away, it's Lilac Limpet from Alligator Wizard. At the 200, it's number 